Cock up, girl, wine for me Me have plans for you yeah, oh, yeah. Make you do everything when you type to me Ride it like a welcome back guys what's up jumping straight into it as you can see from the title today i'm gonna cut this wig yes this wig into a very edgy do a very edgy short cut and style it as well the wig that i'm using is a pre-plucked 360 lace wig and it's silky straight indian remy here okay the length of this wig is 14 inches and of course you know it comes like with a natural color and all that jazz all the specifics will be listed in the description box first thing that i'm going to do is i kind of just take the wig there and i take this rat tail comb and what i'm using what i'm doing is just sectioning off the hair so i wanted a very deep side part because that's what i was going for today so what this cut reminded me of was when i did the tiana taylor inspired like bob um some time ago but the only thing with this it's way shorter like i've never attempted to do a cut like this before in my life i've got a cut similar to this um in the past but it was done by a professional hairstylist and as you guys know i'm not a professional hairstylist i was just pretty i was nervous i'm not gonna lie when i was doing this i was nervous but i i, I followed my heart and <laughs> That was it. I just had fun. Now, I did watch a couple of videos just to kind of understand a little bit more what I was supposed to do. So, the first thing I took was water. And I just kind of spray this all over the hair. And I feel like this will make everything easier as well. So, you can see where everything lays as you cut the hair. And that's what I did first. So now, I, you see I'm sectioning off the hair. And I'm combing that right through so there are no knots or anything. And what I do... You know, is I hold the hair like this, zine, and then I take my scissors or shears, if you want to call it that, and I cut from the bottom up because this will give you that layered effect. Like, you know, when you cut from the bottom up, the bottom of the wig will be shorter as opposed to as you get up into the top of the wig if you understand what i'm trying to say so it's like from long from short to longer so i didn't go ahead and cut too much off all at once just because you know if you cut too much off all at once you cannot replace that hair but if you take your time and cut it little by little at least you can see where you're going with things so i didn't just go ahead and chop off everything in one go especially since it's the first time since i'm doing this type of cut so i was just playing around the hair and i continued to do this right throughout and get it to my desired length okay because i i'm not when 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 i cut it this way i could see the hair falling in place the way i actually wanted it to and that was like a layered effect it had a nice graduation going up into the middle and that is what i was aiming for to be honest so i wanted that nice little almost like tapered look in the back like going down to the bottom so yeah i feel like this technique where you cut up cut from the bottom up really works because i mean like look at it I i'm pretty sure you guys can see a bit of what i'm seeing at this point i just paused on the back portion and i'm moving on to the front and i'm pretty much going to do the same thing here and kind of just see how i want to frame my face with the hair so it's i didn't go i didn't get too technical with that portion but yeah so um when i was finished with that i decided that i wanted to tweeze a little bit more from the front like right there at the hairline i mean it came pre-plucked but i wanted to go in and do a little bit more and i mean this is totally optional but yeah i wanted this to have a more a very nice realistic look to it guys look at this shot right here beautiful right this is exactly what i was going for the final step to this was me taking my mousse which is from soft sheen carson and i pretty much just ran it all the way through in the back portion only and i didn't do anything i just ran it right through and then i comb it through with my rat tail comb so everything was laying and i, I, I comb it in like a v all right because that's how i wanted it to lay and dry after doing so i moved on to the front which i blow dried and this is how everything is looking so as i said i only blow dry the front and now i'm going to actually put a little bit of curls in there so what i did is i take my i took my holding spray 
and I spread it on the hairline right here because I wanted to have that little flip over look so I spread it on the hairline and then I proceeded to taking my wand to lay everything down and as you can see I took my old flat iron here and that's where I started to put curls in to the bang area and um, yeah, I secured that with paint. So I did some little pink curls there. Nothing too neat though. Then for the parting, I went in with some of my face powder to kind of just make things a little bit more pronounced. I was just tying it down on my head after I applying it to make sure that it was kind of you know it kind of took the shape of my head a bit and then after I did my makeup I came back I took that off and yeah this is what we're working with I removed my pins all that jazz and guys to be honest I'm pretty pleased i was so nervous i had this week for a while sitting and i was like i really want to do that cut but i was so afraid and finally i did it and i really like how it came out let me know your, your thoughts guys like leave them in the comment section down below that's pretty much it for this video today guys i really hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give it a thumb up and stay tuned for my next video